Medang province is arguably one of the most beautiful provinces in Papua New Guinea that attracts tourists from all over the world. It is the province that also has a lot of the tourism facilities that were built over 40 years ago. The owner of the Melanesian Tourist Services, Sir Peter Bata, and his wife have been part of the tourism development in Medang. He and his wife started the tourism services back in 1974. Uh, we started off as Telco Tours, which is a, a company that actually belonged to Territory Airlines or Tel Air back in 1967. And um, I established the division, then uh, was based in Garoka. But in 1974, just before independence, uh, the owner of uh, Territory Airlines, uh, Sir Dennis Buchanan, he made a decision to uh, to get rid of all these allied associate businesses, including Telco Tours. And I put my hand up at the time and I said, well, I'd like to take it over with my wife. So we bought out the assets of um, uh, Telco Tours and we moved the headquarters to Medang. In the 1970s, there were pioneers in bringing at least 16,000 tourists into PNG yearly. That may not seem a big number. But you've got to understand, those tourists were staying in the country for 15, 16 days and they were staying uh, very expensive uh, trips and we were attracting a very professional group of people, business people. And the volume, or the amount of money that they brought into the country was quite substantial. Since we moved to Medang, it continued on being an inbound operator and promoting tourism to the country. Up to about 1986, things were going relatively well. I think we reached a number of 20,000 in the uh, year 2000. And again, it may not sound much, but it is a lot when you consider that they were all high yield tourists and they were, the economy they were bringing to the country was substantial. But for the past decade, there has been a decline in the number of tourists coming into the country and this is due to a number of issues. We had so many council flights, disrupted flights, that major tour operators overseas uh, could no longer really depend on the schedule. Um, tourism is a very uh, personal business, uh, a business that can be legally challenged. And if uh, a tour operator overseas sells a tour for someone to come to Papua New Guinea, and for some reason or other they can't provide what was, what was contracted to, they have the ability to go around and sue the, the operator, who in turn sue us and uh, the end result is that we lose those tourism. So that's one factor that came about. You also had uh, other factors, such as the um, uh, SARS, the diseases, people reluctant to travel long distances. You had terrorism, which, uh, as we all know, uh, has caused a tremendous change in the way we, we, we travel, what we do today. We worldwide have probably chosen to travel closer to home than they do on long distance. This, of course, has affected tourism in Papua New Guinea. Uh, there's other factors as well, and there's the criminal uh, activities in Papua New Guinea. And uh, whilst I cannot um, say that uh, we've lost any business as a result of any criminal activities, uh, we've never had a, one of our clients attacked, raped or robbed in anywhere in Papua New Guinea. The fact is, it has happened. and. Uh, Unfortunately, when it does happen, it sends out a very strong signal uh, worldwide. Since 2010, Medang has seen an increase in criminal activities. This is one of the primary causes for the decline in tourism. The drop in the industry has also affected those who depend on the industry as a source of income. Mata Luis, National MTV News, Medang.